so this is for learning target number 6B, problem number 4, rather intense coffee cup calorimeter problem. We're going to perform a chemical reaction that we're going to take some lithium sulfates and we're going to add it to some strontium nitrate and we're going to make some strontium sulfate. The volume of both of the aqueous reactants is 1.50 liters. The molarity of both of the reactants is 1.00 moles per liter. Each one of these starts out at 30 degrees Celsius. And when they combine together, the temperature inside the calorimeter is going to go up to 42. So a couple things that are different from the example problem that I gave you is, first of all, this specific heat. You'll notice that specific heat is going to be higher than that of water. And that's because the solution is going to be heavier. And I know that solution is going to be heavier because of my density of the solution. So those are going to come into play a little bit later on. We'll come back to that. Step one with any coffee cup calorimeter problem, write your balance chemical equation. Actually, that's good for pretty much any problem in chemistry. Just start by writing your balance chemical equation. So here's my lithium sulfate. Here's my strontium nitrate. It's going to be a double replacement reaction. And I'm going to make some lithium nitrate. I can check my charges here. Lithium's going to have a plus one. Nitrate on my polyatomic table will have a minus one, so those charges cancel each other out. And then I'm going to have some strontium sulfate. Same thing goes with the charges here. Strontium has a plus two. Sulfate has a minus two, so those also cancel each other out. I can go back and balance by throwing a two out front here, but quite honestly, it doesn't matter because the only product that forms and stays in a solid precipitate form in this case is going to be the strontium sulfate. And that's because uh, lithium nitrate is completely soluble in water. So the only thing we really care about here is the strontium sulfate. So that's step one. Step two is let's get some uh, number of moles that are going to react. So we're going to think all the way back to last spring, and we're using our concentration equations. I'm going to put this here, kind of like forming a table out of these two reactants. Concentration of each is 1.00 moles per liter. Volume of each is going to be 1.50 liters or 1,500 milliliters. And so using C equals N over V, or multiplying CV equals N, I'll see if I multiply the concentration times the volume, concentration times the volume, I will get the number of moles of each of these to be 1.50. And since we're lucky enough that we have a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio, of reactants to products. That means I'm also going to make 1.50 moles of my strontium sulfate. So I know how many moles we're going to create. And I'm going to use that later on because when it's asking me for enthalpy change per mole, I'm going to have to use that. So I'm going to set that aside for a moment. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how much heat was gained by the solution. So figure out how much heat was gained by the solution. I am going to go ahead and do my CUMSAT equation. Heat released is going to be the mass times the specific heat of the reaction times the change in the temperature. Here's where the density comes in. I let you know that the solution is heavier than water, and that's because strontium is a pretty heavy cation. And so when it dissolves in water, the solution becomes denser. And that's why the density has increased or doubled that of water. So we need to use that to figure out the mass of the solution. So 
I'm looking at my volumes here. If I add those two volumes of liquid together, because I'm putting them both in the cup, I'm putting both in the cup, I add the volumes together, I'm going to have one, three liters or 3,000 milliliters. And so 3,000 milliliters times two grams per milliliter is going to be 6,000 grams. Just pretend this is a really large calorimeter. So you're going to have 6,000 grams of this stuff in the calorimeter. The specific heat is going to be uh, higher because the solution is denser. So it's going to be 6.37 joules per degree Celsius per gram. And my change in temperature is going to go from 42.0 to or up to 42.0 from 30.0. Quick note about sig figs here. Uh, we got to remember that there's three with the 6,000. There's three sig figs here because there was three in the volume. And even though I add them together, it doesn't look like there's three sig figs here. Remember, this is technically 6.00 times 10 to the third. So we're rounding everything to three sig figs. So when I do this calculation, the number of joules of heat that I get ends up being rounded to three sig figs, 45,900 joules or 45.9 kilojoules. So I move that decimal one, two, three places over to the left to get to the 45.9 kilojoules. Okay, so that was step three. I figured out how much heat was released. And now I need the enthalpy, and enthalpy being that molar quantity. It's time to go back to the number of moles that I calculated here. Remember, I made 1.50 moles of that strontium sulfate. So to get my enthalpy, it's simply going to be the 45.9 kilojoules for every 1.50 moles. And when I divide that out, I'll get 30.6 kilojoules per mole. And now, when I calculate that, that's the heat gained by the solution. So the heat lost by the reaction is going to be negative. So remembering that I'm trying to figure out how much heat was released when I made this stuff, which would be the heat gained by the 6,000 grams of uh, solution. So the heat lost by the reaction was negative 30.6 kilojoules per mole. All right, so there's your coffee cup calorimeter problem. Balanced equation first, figure out how many moles reacted. Using the fact that the density of the solution is two grams per milliliter, I figured out how, much gra how ma many grams I had in the solution that went there. I had my specific heat, I had my change in temperature figured out how many kilojoules were released for 1.50 moles, divided those two to figure out my enthalpy of reaction, negative 30.6 kilojoules per mole. I uh, hope this made sense. Have a good evening.